Miss Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo came on with us a couple of weeks ago, and he's been like really gung ho with like whatever we need. Whatever uh, you guys need. You need a blue elephant with a pink tail and stripes. I'm your guy. I can provide that for you. I know what they got me. They're cheap, too. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also going to be in an upcoming scene. It's going to be our last scene that we shoot, I think. It is. It's going to be like the final night. Yeah. But that's dope, because I get to do the martini shot. I'm bringing some drinks oh, that night. That's, that's what it's going to be. Yes. Literally, the martini shot is going to be like the martini shot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. A lot of people who watch the vlog are filmmakers. Like, okay. Uh, first time filmmakers or even like long time filmmakers. People who are just kind of tuning in mm -hmm. to process of filmmaking. Okay. So you have have, you have worked in many capacities with mm -hmm. film, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like you're both on screen, you're behind the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I got I got on, you know, in front of the screen things, and then I just found out that it was it's other resources of mine that I could use to provide other things on the set. Do you have any kind of like like advice on how to for um, an actual filmmaker or actor? For a filmmaker. Okay, for a filmmaker, I would say. First and foremost, like, don't write without bounds. I feel like too many people, they start writing and they already start limiting themselves as they write. Mm -hmm. Like, if your scene takes place in a magic castle in Disney World, write it. Because then a person like me is going to fix it and be able to probably get, you know what I'm saying? See, that's but, so funny. That's like the opposite advice that... that no, no, I know other people will say write small enough, but you're, you're showing in your brain. I mean, if we got to go small, we could always take big to small, but we can't go small to big. Yeah. So I would say write it the way, write it the way you want it. And um, the other thing is have faith in the universe and whoever made this universe because you're going to need it. Filmmaking is not an easy process. It's a lot of battles after another, it's one battle after another battle. And if you don't have tough skin, this is not the business for you because everything is tested on, like so many things happen that you'll want to give up, that, that you do have to have that tenacity. When it's the hardest, that's when the movie comes out the greatest. I don't know why, but that's how it is. That's so funny, so Jack and I were talking about the other day, we kind of had kind of a hard day the other day, and I just kept saying to myself, you know, all that difficulty, is, is doesn't even matter, it's invisible. Think about it like this. There's people that live their life working hard for somebody else. You're actually working hard for yourself and for your own project. You know yeah. how blessed you are for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's somebody right now in somebody's office busting they rump for somebody else to get all the profit. They probably just getting four or five hundred dollars a week salary. Right. So we actually out here doing our own things. Nobody's gonna go harder than yourself for your own thing. So, you know, That's good fortunate advice. enough that we got it. Pablo, everybody. <laughs> You'll be seeing him in the movie. I'll be seeing you guys sometime. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it had a dramatic ending, though.